United States is probably the most powerful empire the world has ever seen. Financially, it has the biggest economy in the world. Militarily, it has more than 600 military bases all around the world. Technologically, no one can compete with it. And yet when you join the military academy, the first thing you will ever be taught is the book that's written over 2500 years ago. Why would the most powerful country in the 21st century that definitely has way much more experience go back to the book that's so old? That's exactly what makes books so great. Humanity developed slowly and the most important knowledge has always been written down and kept together in some sort of book so that the next generation will be able to use that knowledge. In other words, books are the backstone of human progress. Fortunately, that tradition is still going on, and most of the books are not simply information that are written down, but well-organized, deeply thought ideas written down in the most accurate way possible. That's exactly why internet can't replace books. Videos and articles that you see on internet are not targeted to help you, but rather to entertain you, to get your attention, because that's what generates income, which makes them very different from books. What people usually don't understand about the books is that, especially self-help books, you're not only given plain information, but rather ideas that are presented in such a beautiful way that you can apply them directly into your life. Books are there to help you to deal with life's most challenging problems, depression, sadness, relationships, business, you name it. People usually complain that, I wish if only I had a mentor, if only Warren Buffett could teach me how to invest or Richard Branson could teach me how to start a new business, I would have become a billionaire already. But unfortunately, I am not that lucky guy. I will never even have a chance to talk to them. But what people don't usually understand is that almost every single successful person have spent days if not months writing down their secret to success, how they started, what did they do, what mistakes they have done, and what would they advise you. They didn't simply write them down, but rather summarize them in the best way possible and it's available for everyone. Book is probably the best investment you can make. For just under 10 or 15 dollars, you can learn the lessons that took him 50 years to understand. So instead of complaining that you can't get a good mentor, why don't you read their books? And the best part of it is that you can have as many mentors as you want, even those who are not currently alive, but their books are still there on the shelves. Of course, not every single book is great. In fact, from my experience, I can tell you that there are tons of books that are completely useless. They're written for reasons I still don't understand. It's just a waste of time. Books can be categorized into three types. Great books are the ones that are filled with wisdom and life-changing ideas that will be read by generations ahead of us like the art of war. Then there are good books that are worth your time, but they are not as good as the great ones. Then of course, there are waste of time books. That's why it's extremely important to do some research before you pick up a book to read. I understand the frustration with reading, it's not always the most enjoyable thing to do, and it can get extremely boring, especially when you're not used to read books, but as you read more and more, you turn it into a habit and it will get much easier to read. But often we are too busy, even if you want to read, you might not have the time, and the best solution to that are audiobooks. It's like the conversation you're having with an extremely intelligent person, and you can listen to it whether you're stuck in the traffic, walking to your college, or working out in the gym. Of course, reading is more beneficial because you focus more and underline important parts. But if you don't have the time for that, at least start with the audiobooks. And now it's your turn. What do you think? What's your favorite book or which book had the biggest impact on your life? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, hit the like button if you have enjoyed this video. Subscribe and click the notification bell if you want to see more similar videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.